hi all welcome to our channel today we are going to discuss about the uh, how to fill the tax information how to fill the tax uh, information uh, in a google adsense so let us see how it happens so here you can see the banner right basically you can see the banner for the uh, tax information so um, yeah obviously google adsense will send you this banner information so as long as whenever you open your uh, google adsense you will be able to see this uh, uh, banner that banner clearly tells that uh, important check if additional tax information is required from you all uh, youtube creators and partners are required to submit uh, tax information to ensure any applicable taxes on your payments are accurate so this is clearly tells that you have to um, you have to fill uh, the additional tax information which is required from you so uh, let us see how to do that mm, it won't take much time it's very easy as well so please uh, make sure you follow and before that um, if you have not uh, uh, subscribed my channel till now so please subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for notification so uh, let us start okay uh, first what you have to do is um, you have three options given here right click on manage tax information right it's loading now so here you will get a option like add tax information you have to click on this add tax information yeah it's loading up now uh, you have to uh, give uh, google adsense password to confirm your account Now we are logging in. It's loading. Yeah. Now let's start filling up the uh, tax information. So first is United States uh, tax information. Uh, it's all about what it's asking is whether it's an individual um, account or it's a company account. Is it a business account or individual account? In my case, it's individual. So yeah, let's fill individual. Next now another option is are you a citizen or a resident of the united states yeah that depends right for me i'm not a resident of the united states so obviously i have to fill no right click next right now there is an option select w8 uh, tax form type that is the uh, tax form type what is the tax form type basically so it's like a w8 bn is mainly for uh, individual uh, basically we can say it's individual and it's a um, business um, form so uh, in our case it's uh, individual so let's check that individual form type then start uh, you have to click on start w8 uh, pen form yeah it's loading yeah it's loading now right that is low so here you can see name of individual right that obviously uh, the name is given so uh, it's almost it should be similar with uh, the pan name that's what mainly we have seen uh, and here uh, sort of uh, doing business if it's a uh, business then what is the business name uh, those sort of information needs to be given and um, next is country of citizenship in my case it is uh, India so I have to select India next is taxpayer identification number so it's tin it's basically it's asking for the uh, pan number of uh, pan number so I have to give the pan number here yeah please make sure the number uh, the name of this pan number is uh, matched with the uh, Google AdSense account name that should be uh, the pan number will be having a name right a uh, pan uh, name will be there so that name should be a match with your uh, google adsense uh, name what you have already uh, given right what you have already saved for the google adsense name that should be matched next is um us uh, tin i tin uh not required now for tin we have given next uh, you have to click on next button right then permanent uh, resident address so you have to give your uh, address here 
so if it is the same for the permanent address then you have to check this box for example in now my case i have to give my address And if it's a um, communication address, mailing address is same as permanent address, then you have to check this box. Yeah, now uh, you have to click on next button. It's loading. Right, now it checks the uh, India and US uh, have a tax treaty. Are you claiming a reduced rate of uh, withholding under a tax treaty? So it's uh, basically uh, make sure that um, Mm, me post thirty percent withholding tax on payment that are considered U.S. and resident of the country origin claiming treaty. So we are claiming as treaty because we are not um, from U.S. So we have to say yes. So resident of country origin claiming treaty uh, with the U.S. Yes, we have to check this box. Next, uh, we have to give uh, our country again. That is, um, in my case, it's India. In your case depends special rates and condition you may be exempt or have taxes withheld at a reduced rate on a certain income types and within the US these reduced rates exams vary among countries basically uh, such as AdSense motion pictures okay click on as uh, services first so yeah check that box services then article and paragraph article 7 and paragraph 1 you have to select then withholding rate um, zero percent reduced treaty rate give a zero percent reduced treaty rate okay that is done next is um, you have to confirm uh, sort of uh, you have to check this box yeah then again you have to check this motion picture and tv royalties there article and paragraph you have to select article 12 and paragraph 2a11 withholding rate um, the reduced rate 15 percentage reduced rate 15 percentage again you have to check this box next is other copyright uh, royalties that you have to check then you will get article and paragraph there article 12 and paragraph 2a then a withholding rate uh, reduced 15 percentage rate right so what you have done is the uh, first you have given zero percentage reduced treaty rate with the article 7 and paragraph 1 then you give on 15 percentage reduced rate with article 12 and paragraph 2a and then you give on 15 percent reduced rate with article 12 and paragraph 2a here right and you have checked the the important boxes here right these and motion pictures and if you go over you will find from services special rates and condition all these we are uh, checked right and after this uh, you have to click on this um, checkbox here yeah once after that you have to click on next button right it's loading right so now you can see the preview here whatever you have already filled um, it, it is already shown here so if you want you can uh, click on it with a uh, yeah uh, let us see what will happen if you click on it uh, yeah the, it will it will show you whatever you have filled so far so what you have to do is you can even verify what you have already filled out so just uh, it's sort of a uh, preview doc you can verify and confirm what you have done so far and nothing else uh, is there and here you have to confirm by checking this box you have to confirm i have reviewed uh, you have reviewed the tax information right whatever you have filled already that is uh, you have reviewed right so that you have to check this box then click on next box next button right then certification now what you have to give here is um, uh, full a uh, legal name right it is nothing else under penalties of i declare that kind of a declaration for that your name full legal name you have to give uh, it's again uh, should be same with that pan uh, pan number name uh, so that same name you have to give then are you the person listed in the signature section 
uh, the, 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 we just need to declare yes and person listed in the signature section and completing this form on my behalf right it's myself doing for my account so I have to fill out it's uh, yes I am the person listed next is um, you have to click on next button all right uh, yeah has the individual or entity identified in the tax and this section performed any activities and services for Google within US right you have to uh, check that no obviously i certify that the services provided to google is affiliated you have to certify that uh, it's basically it's asking whether you are performing any activities in us or outside us so it depends right if people uh, in, in our case we are not in us and we are not um, engaged in any of the activities in us so we have to uh, select no and just uh, confirm that and status change after david again are you providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that has not received payments or an existing payment profile that has previously received it's just asking that um, if you uh, if you have already received any payments from youtube then uh, you have to select this one and providing tax for an existing payments and if you have not uh, received any a single payment from youtube till this date till this moment so you have to select this in my case um, i am selecting this because i have not received any payment from a uh, youtube till this date so i am selecting in case if you have received any payment then you have to select the second option okay now let's submit the form right it's kind of a final submit so it may take a little more time than expected so yeah here you can see the status as approved and a few of the information and again here these all uh, things claim 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 so we will be receiving a further follow-up of the email from google adsense uh say uh that will uh that will say yeah you have completed um, the tax information successfully and um, uh, everything so if you have completed all the formalities related to tax information and you'll be receiving those sort of a email from google adsense um uh, in uh, in uh, recently basically so this is what the only uh, things you have to do in terms of the uh, additional tax information for google adsense and once you're done with that your party is over so next um, you have to get the acknowledgement from google adsense that is their part we don't have to uh, worry about we are good with everything so, uh, after some time maybe in 15 to 20 minutes i got the uh, email from uh, i got the email from Google AdSense it says uh, your tax information has been approved let's open that yeah what it says is um so if there are no other holes on your account and balance is above any premium that may apply you will be paid on a timely basis and the right taxes will be withheld if applicable you can view or confirm your tax information in google payment center so tax information everything can be seen if you click on this link and uh, this is what it clearly says tax information has been approved and um, what there are no holes um, is ever any premium uh, you will be paid on a timely basis right all the uh, tax information blockages are uh, <clears throat> taken off that's what the mail clearly says so that's it very simple process right yeah so this is that simple it's very simple to fill up the tax information from a beginning to end we just give few of the primary information regarding our name address and what is the form type uh, and form type then it comes to uh, few other um, few uh, declaration what you have given this is all about that it's very simple uh, to manage this so hope um, this is uh, helpful to you guys so if you have enjoyed this video and um, if you find it worth if you find this channel is worth in future also uh, uh, i may post lots of uh, these are uh, these sort of videos and technology related videos i keep posting so if you find this channel is worth watching please subscribe and uh, please like and share and obviously please leave your comment also and in case if you uh, 
uh, don't like please um, feel free to uh, unlike also and uh, raise your comments and concerns so in case if you want to uh, watch any more videos uh, these uh, related these types of related videos please let me know in comment section so that i can i can create new videos for you any you can put any of the topics what you are in your mind so that that will be helpful right if it is a blocking or if it is a pain point for you so i can create a uh, video that will help your life easily so i hope you enjoyed this video and we will see in next video thank you